You set up Cisco Business Dashboard to monitor and control your network. And great news, business is booming. Now you need your mesh wireless network to grow with you. Adding additional access points or mesh extenders is a snap and can be done right through your Cisco Business Dashboard. In this Cisco Tech Talk, we'll show you how to use your CBD with your Cisco Business Wireless. Next. First, we'll log into the Cisco Business Dashboard. We'll enter our username and password and log in. Okay, we're in. There are several things you should see on the screen, but the main thing we'll focus on is the access point and device deployed. For this example, we're using the CBD 2.2.2 version. Let's go to the network menu where we can see which network is deployed. Branch 1 network is configured under CBD Main Office Organization. Click on Branch 1 and we'll see that CBW140AC is connected with the Cisco Business 250 switch. And that's it. On the right, we'll find the primary AP function that controls the wireless network. Click on View to access the wireless network. We're in. We have access to the CBW access point. We'll click on the Login button. We'll be prompted once more for our username and password. Click OK, and we should be logged in to the Cisco Business Wireless Network. On the main page, we should see that we're in the CBW140AC. We can also see wireless network access points, active clients connected, and rogue AP details. Let's go to the Management tab and select Software Update. We can see the current firmware version on this access point, 10.4.1.0. Under the Advanced Settings, click SNMP. We should see the SNMP service is enabled. We'll need to make sure that this service is enabled so that it can communicate to Cisco Business Dashboard. We'll also need to make sure that SNMP Access version 2C and version 3 are enabled. We can see that Read Only Community and Read Write Community are configured. Scroll down and we'll see the SNMP version 3 user details. Let's visit our CBD settings page. We can see that the connection status is down. These Cisco Business Dashboard settings are required for direct management where there's no CBD probe configured on the network. If we need to enable the setting, we'll first need to provide the information requested below. Once we finalize, we'll need to click Save. Let's head back to our Cisco Business Dashboard homepage. Ah, uh, home sweet home. To see more details about our CBW deployment, head to the Inventory tab. This is where you can find access point details. Click on any of the host names to learn more about that device. In this case, it is a CBW140AC. We can see the model number, MAC address and its IP details, complete PIV vid, the serial number, the vendor's name, the device group associated with, branch network, organization name, firmware version and discovery method, the protocols that are enabled on this access point. We'll head to the Dashboard tab, where we can see information like the client count and traffic. Slot 0 is currently selected. If we choose Gigabit Ethernet, we can see the traffic for that interface. We can see 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz traffic for the respective SSIDs. If we scroll down further, we can see the CPU utilization, the notification details, the uptime, associated client details, and the rogue AP. Under the PNP tab, we can select the image we need to upload to this access point, Cisco Business Wireless 140 AC. We can also upload configuration. Right now, nothing is added here, so it's not reflecting. If we go to the Wireless LAN tab, we can see several wireless configuration parameters for Radio 0 and Radio 1. Scrolling downward, we can see the SSID configured in 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, as well as the associated clients in each SSID. And under the Config Backups tab, we can see that currently there is no data to display and there's no backup configured. However, we can click on this Backup Configuration button to backup the device configuration. Under the Pending Configuration tab, we can see Apply Pending Configuration, accept current configuration, and read current configuration options. 
there are a few colors that highlight the different types of configurations, such as a red color to indicate a removed configuration, green for a replaced configuration, and blue for an added configuration. When we navigate to the Event Log tab, that's where we can see events happen on the CBW140AC device. We can see the CPU utilization here, as well as the reachability status and the time interval. We can also head to the Reports menu and select the wireless network. Currently, Cisco SB SSID is selected, so it is displaying that data. If we choose the CBD demo SSID that is configured on the CBW network, we can see the client count and the traffic details for those clients. We can see the details based on days, weeks, months, etc. We can also filter the organization from this dropdown in the top right corner, and we can specify the wireless network that we are looking for. Scrolling down, we'll see the specific SSID and client count peak details, as well as other details like client count average, traffic peak, and traffic average for each SSID. Diving deeper, we'll see spectrum usage, client counts, and traffic details. We can also find radio frequency, network, organization, and peaks and averages for client count and traffic. We will also see wireless access point details, including various time intervals, We'll also notice the rogue AP details near to our CBW140AC device. We can note the average signal strength of the channel used right here. Under the Wireless Client Report page, we can see the wireless client count, the detailed data rate, and the SSID name. We can also find usage, such as upload and download details, and the maximum data rate. We can also view the uptime such as how long users are online. We'll also be able to see wireless guest details. Right now, there is no guest associated, so this data is not reflecting. We can also add the new wireless network on Cisco Business Wireless from Cisco Business Dashboard. To do that, we'll need to navigate to the Network Configuration menu and select the Wireless LAN option. Here we can see that the CBD demo SSID is showing on the Cisco Business Wireless Access Point, CBW140AC. We'll add a new wireless network here. Under the Wireless LAN option, click the Add button to create a new SSID. We'll enter the profile name as New SSID. We'll choose the organization from the dropdown, in this case, CBD Main Office. Now we need to choose the device group. We'll choose CBD Main Office and drag that to the right side. Back under the Wireless LAN option, we'll click Add to create the SSID, and we'll give it the name New CBW SSID. Next, we'll choose the radio interface from the dropdown. We can choose from 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, or both interfaces. We'll choose both for this example. We'll then need to specify the VLAN ID as well and enable and broadcast options to enable the wireless LAN. Under the security option, we'll choose WPA2 Personal from the dropdown. This is supported in Cisco Business Wireless, so we need to provide the passphrase key. Finally, we'll click Save. We can see that a newly added SSID is reflecting here. Click Save to configure this wireless network in Cisco Business Wireless from this Cisco Business Dashboard. Yes, the job was created successfully. And now we can see the Done with Success status. The SSID has been configured. We can verify this by checking the Cisco Business Wireless AP. Go to Wireless Settings and click on the WLANs option. On this page, we can see that the newly created SSID, new CBW SSID, is reflecting here. Through time, the needs of your network can change. Isn't it great to know that Cisco Business Dashboard helps make changes simple and easy? Thanks for watching this Cisco Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.